Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10 uh, in the fast ring for insiders. This was build 16199 released yesterday, May 17th, 2017, around 1 p.m. Did not have time to do the review yesterday, but here it is. Uh, first things first, of course, yes, there are some new features I'll be talking about a little bit. Uh, but first things, you know what, it's very, very interesting because this build has taken an amazingly long time to install. And a big chunk of the uh, time to install, you know, the download went super fast. But after the download, it initializes and it gives you a progress of how many percent it's done. It was stuck at 79% sorry, on this machine for more, uh, more than an hour. On my home machine, 39% for more than an hour, and it was dreadfully slow to prepare itself to install. Now, one of the things I did do is check out the size of the download. I reset the data, and when I went to check out the um, data usage one of the download, now, don't be fooled at the two gigabytes you see here on Wi-Fi. In reality, just the download, okay, when I actually uh, clicked and checked just the download size around 1.4 gigabytes. That's less than half the size of a regular Windows 10 full version. So the universal update platform is in full swing because that shows us that they're downloading just what changes. But the problem, it seems to be extremely long. And so, you know, I'm not sure if I want to have smaller um, downloads and very long install times or I'd rather have a full download and a much quicker install time. Uh, I hope this is something they fix because I can see that if they get to fall update and it updates this slow, a lot of people are going to go crazy with the, and the, uh, the, the, the experience of, you know, upgrading their system. I can tell you that. So I don't know. It's a uh, really, really long time. I don't understand why it's so long and why it gets stuck. You know, it was so long, actually. I went on the internet and looked at people that had problems. And yes, a lot of people ha were stuck. 79% uh, seems to be one of the very popular. I'm stuck at 75% for the past hour and a half. Uh, but you know what? Be patient. If it does happen to you, I think you need to, uh, you know, just wait for it to arrive. Uh, one update about the story remix feature, you know, I was telling you how um, one machine, for example, my home machine has this, the new photo app and story remix. The other one doesn't have the new photo app and story remix. And actually what's happening is that um, Microsoft is saying to insiders that they are doing what's called A-B testing. It's a scientific method to prove the causality of a change on the observed impact and basically what it means is that some people are on a control group. If you don't have it, you're on a control group. And a lot of people, they say the majority of people are on the new Photos app with Story Remix. Now there is a thing that they say, if you don't have it, just uh, there, there's a link in the uh, Windows blog for the new build. Send the Story Remix team an email. They will send you instructions on how to actually force Story Remix in your system and actually what I will do is I will um, be making a video uh, in the next day or two that should show you how to do it yourself if you want to have story remix forced in your insider machine but you know if you're not don't have it that's you're part of a, a uh, control group um, and the build 16199 one of the things that they've added is the uh, next wave of uh, cool features for people available now insiders once again not all of them um, you can see emoji from your pinned contacts so when you receive an emoji from your pinned contact you can now watch it appear and animate right from the taskbar so if somebody sends you an emoji in the people app which you see here I've got some uh, contacts here with the people app uh, that's pretty much what's happening uh, they, they've had it emojis. So if you use that experience with different people, you'll have actually a uh, little animation. Um, notification badging, contact pinned to your taskbar will now display a counter if there are unseen messages. So if, if we contact one of these, I would have a little number saying, hey, you've got one or two or you know several uh, notifications of things you haven't seen. So you'll be able to see who has actually contacted you 
directly from the taskbar. Uh, people first sharing, easier way to share. So one of the things that a lot of people go crazy about is what? Oh, I don't understand how to send a file to a friend of mine. Now, I gotta say, on that side, people experience is interesting because you can now go to the file explorer, just take the file and drag it on your contact at the bottom. And you know what? It's gonna actually send that file to that person. So, you know what? I do find that that's kind of interesting. That makes me, you know, wonder where people is going is might, might, might be interesting. And, you know, as a, a tech guy, a lot of people are trying to share things together. And I gotta say that by having that possibility, it's actually very, very interesting uh, to share easily anything. So just drag and, dr drag and drop directly, that's pretty cool. What else? There's the game settings. Uh, when you have, of course, everybody knows that there's broadcasting of gaming uh, with the DVR and stuff. Well, now in the game DVR and in the broadcasting, you actually will have a audio-only broadcast if you want. So, you know, now it was, before it was like really um, a video broadcast, you can now have just audio in the settings. In the DVR game bar, they also have rename audio settings page under settings. So there are a few things um, interesting. And insiders, uh, you can see a game monitor and I have it here on the bottom left under settings gaming. This is a potential future functionality. It doesn't do anything right now, but game monitor will actually be something that might actually have um, the possibility of monitoring uh, how games are working on your system and all sorts of little details of whatever you're doing on your gaming. And uh, I think that's going to be interesting to see. Um, apart from that, there's a new uh, integrated system health. So, of course, you know that there's system health when you go to the um, antivirus, you know, we, there's the device performance and health thing. And, and there's kind of a, a, a full report that you can get actually easily now. So if you want to see the main system alerts and, and, and health, you can go now to the uh, settings. You can go to system. And in the about section, they've added this here. Your PC is monitored and protected. And you have the uh, main features that are being checked out uh, right there with the little green check mark or whatever color that it might uh, give you. So this is something at a glance, very rapidly happening and giving you the details of um, your system health, basically. Very interesting part also of all of this is that when you go to different sections, look on the right side you've got videos. That means if you are wondering what a specific thing is doing, a specific section, slowly they will be adding tips in videos on the upper right. So you'll click the video, which will give you a video animation of everything that you need to know about a specific setting. So that kind of interesting. I think it's not a bad idea to kind of uh, put videos and you know some people actually learn much better by viewing a video than by reading something so um, that that I think is very very uh, interesting in uh, other uh, things here there is of course storage storage sense which you can uh, you know automatically um, uh, delete temporary files and do little things like that uh, that are available um, so uh, you can clean up automatically files them and then change in your uh, downloads folder for 30 days to go to system storage and how to free up space so um, you can of course click there there's a 30 day there's an on off switch so that's also interesting because we download tons of things in our download folder that gets stuck there that could be very uh, very useful um, updated narrator so that you can press caps lock E E while narrator is running and it will it will launch the feedback hub uh, interesting one that I haven't I haven't been able to have it work yet and I want to make sure I can try it out so that I can you, can you guys can see it if you've got Cortana installed on your Android phone and I do one of the very interesting things here 
is that you actually can have a notification of an incoming call. So if your phone is out of reach, somebody calls you on your Android phone, there's actually a, a notification that pops up here on the bottom right. It gives you the details of who is calling you. And so this is interesting. And I have tried to make it work. And I will, of course, try again because I want to really try it and see if it works. But this is a cool feature. You can actually text back directly from Windows. Or you can actually decline a call directly from Windows. Now, this is cool because, you know, your phone's ringing. Oh, it's Jeremy. Um, but I, I can't talk right now. You can click decline. Or, oh, it's Jeremy, but I need to tell him something. You can text back directly from Windows. This is a very, very nice feature. Uh, I, I got to say, these are really cool. So, and I'll, I'll try to have it working. And um, because I've checked the notifications, but I think the problem is on my Android phone with Cortana, not on Windows right now. So I'll have, I'll try to have it working and, and make a video because I think this is so cool. So uh, this works only for Android right now. Apparently might be coming to iOS if they can uh, soon. So uh, hang in there if you've got an iPhone. Um, apart from that, they fixed a whole lot of things in there that uh, you know they need to have working. They fixed issues with many Win32 apps not launching uh, when certain third-party antiviruses are there. Updated the Windows Defender Security Center so as there's no longer flag disabled the driver's issue. Uh, so that's nice because you know, and, and they need to do more with that. Um, we also have adjusted the health scan logic so that using maximum brightness when connected to AC power will not flag a warning. So that's nice also because it means if you're plugged in, you won't get a warning that the battery might drain fast because of the screen. Yes, that's a warning better for when you're on batteries, but not when you're plugged in. So there's a lot of little things to do here like that. Um, also, low usage means they took a decision to remove the note quick action in, uh, in, in the buttons. So apparently nobody was using that. Fixed issues were uh, color profiles being ignored when launching certain full screen games and added to help you quickly the option you're looking for updated the context menus for apps and tiles in the start to now include icons for more actions including share uninstall and rate so here when you go into a app you can now have you have more options available for these apps so say i right click netflix uh, some of the things that might actually appear on some of them is here you go share rate and review these are things that weren't available before Lots of known issues, of course, as usual, this is, you know, beta software, it is unfinished. Insiders reporting still, some updates are canceled. Uh, there's a blog post, Surface 3, remove your SD card, Outlook 2016. It may hang because it can't launch the Outlook data file um, because of the, the spam filter. Uh, still, reports of Microsoft Edge uh, fails in PDF, so uh, they're checking that out. You will be unable to type in passwords in the Universal Windows platform apps as Netflix, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or Messenger. Use the web version. Uh, games such as Civilization VI may fail to launch. Windows Mixed Reality won't work on this build. And uh, if you need to use that, roll back to 16193. Uh, Vim is broken uh, for Windows subsystem for Linux users. They're looking why. It's happening, and um, the choice command fails when run in a command prompt script. So that's pretty much what's happening with this build. Really nice, nice new features, lots of little cool things, and it's fun to see that we're adding and they're getting there. Uh, for those that have seen the first blog post, there was a quick uh, release of something that's not here, but that uh, surprised everybody. Apparently a uh, action, kind of a control center button that's not there here but it showed briefly they removed it because it's not in here and maybe something coming soon so that's pretty much what i have to say with this build another amazing build for the stability i have no issues and of course look at my insider channel much more videos coming up of this build and features and the call functionality and everything notifications hope you enjoyed my little review and look at the different features if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have installed this build,
please let us know how it goes with you. Kind of fun to see what everybody, how it goes with everybody. So thank you for watching and uh, hope you have fun with the latest build, 16199.